Hello everyone, I'm Grant Hodkinson and welcome to The Source. It was a weekend of hot air balloons and music. Chair Chris Savard talks to Bill Makinson about a successful Kinsman Corma liftoff. What are you thinking about right now? Well, it's, it's, it's nice that it's over, but uh, it was a great event. Uh, as you know, we got uh, four to six balloon launches in and the, the, the crowds were great. Uh, I think we set record crowds here uh, Thursday, Friday, so the first two nights were well above. Uh, expectations and you know Saturday the, unfortunately the weather rolled in so the crowd was a little bit soft but considering how bad the weather was the number of people that stuck around for that classic albums uh, uh, concert uh, were well pleased and we were very pleased that there were probably still five six hundred people left after an hour's worth of rain delay but overall I think you gotta you gotta describe the festival as a great success yeah and, and last week when I was talking to uh, Rob Sege uh, you guys took a gamble this year with the entertainment and he said you know by going back to uh, you know, getting the classic album live, folks. Uh, you know, you had two great headliners. You took a gamble, but man, oh man, it paid off. Absolutely. Uh, we struggled a little bit trying to uh, find things in our price range, and you know, we were struggling with uh, tour dates and just availabilities. Uh, so when we did the Amanda Marshall show, it, quite frankly, it was above uh, a fair bit above what we had hoped to spend for that night. And uh, in the end, as you can tell, the uh, the numbers were great, and you know, we're still kind of sorting through the uh, the exercise. But I think the increased attendance will help cover that uh, that budget shortfall, and uh, liftoff is continuing to go strong, and we'll be back looking for the return to action. Now, as chair of this uh, this annual event, you have a you have a chance to talk to a lot of people. What what are the people telling you? Well, I think what we're seeing is is the community as a whole is, is getting a sense of pride and ownership of this festival. Uh, you know, they're proud that uh, they're able to come to Cornwall to see that sort of caliber of entertainment. You know, as we talked about before, Amanda Marshall did two Canadian dates, one of them being here because of the, the size and scope of the event that she wanted to do this show. Um, so people can stay here in Cornwall and we can bring people from the outside in. Uh, I think we put it together at a very affordable price that uh, will rival any uh, festival in the province. And you know, I think that's what we're hearing from a lot of people that they're just, they're so thrilled to see how liftoff has grown and it be, it's become a sense of local pride. This year too, uh, Chris, it was uh, sort of a special, uh, special year for you, uh, the passing of your dad and, and the whole uh, you know, lift off this year was dedicated to his memory, and uh, just talk to me about that and how that made you feel. You know, well, my sister serves on the board with me, and it was a real nice touch for the board to do that. And I sent a note out to to our board this morning, you know, congratulating them on the collective efforts of the things that they had did, and you know, I reminded our board to think about you know the, the to do list and the hours that each of them put in. If you were to add that up, how big that list was, uh, and to think how many people were touched by their efforts and. You know, there were very few hiccups, and even when there were hiccups, the, how well they handled them. Um, so I feel very fortunate that I'm able to, to be part of such a great team that uh, would see fit to do something like that uh, uh, for my dad. But more importantly, the, the group that I'm so fortunate to be able to be a part of is a pretty amazing group of people. Well, congratulations to your, uh, your team, uh, everybody involved, from the, from the sponsors to, uh, you know, to the vendors, everybody else, and, and the, the people that showed up here. I'll give you the last word, uh, Chris, uh, so thank you very much. So you have Thanks, the last Bill. word. Well, and as you know, uh, you kind of hit it there. If To put an event this, this size together, we, we need to rely on so many people, whether it be the pilots, the sponsors, our board, the countless volunteers, uh, the City of Cornwall crew, you know, the TV Kojoko crew, and uh, you know, you don't want to mention a lot of people because you're fearful of forgetting them, but when you look at the amount of people that rally together to put this event together, uh, I meant, made a comment to the mayor this morning that this is really a, a rallying point for the city and people get together and it seems like whatever liftoff needs, somebody's there willing to help us. So uh, we're very grateful to the community of Cornwall and all the support we see from TV Kojiko to help put this together. So thank you so much. Great job. We're looking forward to next year.